Many people still talking about that magnitude 3.0 earthquake in New Jersey over the weekend. I was watching a move of my son. We felt it, didn't know what it was. And today we learned a new fault line was just discovered in Jersey. Scientists say the discovery could help them predict larger quakes stretching as far as New York City. Let's get out to News 4's Chris Glorioso, live in North Vale, New Jersey, with more. Hi, Chris. Hi there. Well, the earthquake that struck this uh, weekend with the epicenter in Hasbrook Heights was not nearly as powerful as the one New Jersey saw back in the spring of 2024. But scientists say after that 2024 quake, they installed more seismometers. And those instruments have prompted, they say, the discovery of a new fault line in New Jersey. Now they are hopeful this weekend's quake might prompt more additional scientific discovery. Inside Hasbrook Heights Pizza, watch, and you can see the quake shake the water bottles stored in the basement. Next door at Himalaya on Heights, restaurant worker Dalmu Sherpa Shantayel said it felt like the floor suddenly dropped out around 1018 Saturday. Sure enough, here's the seismograph. Describe what you felt. I feel like uh, it's really heavy, like drop, drop it. It's not sticky but um, like really boom. For those who felt Saturday's magnitude 3 earthquake, the sensation was startling. But for Columbia geologist Dr. Folaren Kolawoli, the data produced by the quake could be invaluable. He and his colleagues recently published this paper, identifying a new fault line in Hunterdon County never before discovered in New Jersey. Using machine learning and a network of seismometers installed after last spring's magnitude 4.8 quake, they connected more than a thousand thousand tiny aftershocks to pinpoint the new fault's location. It's a groundbreaking result because it did not notice U.S. Kolawoli says the fault which caused this weekend's quake is still unclear, but more data can help determine just how deep and long our region's fault lines are, which might one day help forecast whether larger quakes are in New York City's future. Is it possible we could see a big one in the next 10,000 years? I think so. I think it's very much possible. Importantly, scientists are not yet anywhere near 